what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and i'm back with another barber tutorial going over a mid drop fade today so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and start this fade using my gamma saber trimmers just to create my first initial guideline and whenever you guys are creating this guideline you want to make sure it's nice and consistent that way you have a nice clean foundation for your fade and for the next step in this haircut i'm going to go ahead and use my gamma instinct clippers with no guard lever all the way open and i'm just taking this guideline up about an inch followed by my trimmer guideline that we created and same thing on the beard i'm just gonna go ahead and go right beneath my client's earlobe using no guard lever all the way open and we're gonna follow this guideline using the one and a half guard all the way closed so we're basically starting with three guidelines our trimmer guideline our no guard lever open guideline and now our one and a half guard all the way closed so this is basically going to be the foundation of our haircut and i'm going to start by blending the one and a half guard into the top so in order to do that i'm going to take my comb using the same guard just doing some clipper over comb making sure that i'm flicking off of the parietal ridge into the crown and you want to make sure to roll that comb off that way you don't take off any unnecessary hair that you need to from the top and i'm just following it up opening my guard so it's basically cutting the hair out of two now and now i'm just gonna go ahead and take my half guard all the way open to erase that middle guideline blending the half into the one and a half closed and i'm really just using the corner of my blade shortening my cutting stroke as i close that lever and just be patient with it some hair texture may take a little bit longer to blend out based on the density and how thick the hair is But little by little, you guys can see that that middle guideline is starting to blend and fade away. And same thing on the beard. We're just repeating the same steps, but we're going down with the grain instead of against the grain. So now that we have this middle guideline blended out, we're just gonna have to come back with no guard lever all the way closed, just to blend out that first initial guideline we have that we created with the trimmers. So now I went ahead and closed the, the lever all the way with no guard. And I'm just tapping that guideline very, very lightly with a very short cutting stroke. And little by little, I'm just going to gradually start to open that lever and flick out any last dark areas that I see. And I really like this fading method right here because you're doing a little bit of blending up and blending down. You're setting your foundation going up and coming back down, refining your blend. Just getting it as blurry as you can possibly get it. And always remember when you guys are cutting hair, the blend happens from the zero to the one and a half guard. So that's really where you want to, you know, make sure you're putting in the most detail work with your half guard and with, with no guard, just doing lever play. And you guys can see that that guideline is pretty much faded away. I'm just put, doing a few more details using the corner of my blade to flick out any last dark areas that I see. And if you guys are new to my channel, please be sure to hit that like button and drop a comment letting me know what you want to see next. And also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more barber content.
and as you guys can see the blend is starting to come together little by little as we start flicking out all those dark areas and one more time with my trimmers i came back just to flick out any last dark areas i saw at the bottom of my fade and now i'm going to come in and use my finishing spray just to hold the hair in place before i begin the lineup and for the lineups i always like to start at the c cups that way i can get a nice proportion on where my hairline is going to be from the sides and then i can just come back and get a nice clean line from the front and when you guys are doing this you want to keep it as natural as you can the more natural you keep it the longer the haircut will last as well but you can still get a very nice crispy line while still keeping it natural as you guys can see i do have these trimmers right here zero gap so i was able to get a nice crispy edge up and if you guys are interested in purchasing my crispy finishing spray feel free to dm me on instagram and i'll get you guys squared away for the last part i'm just going to go ahead and use my razor just to line up my client's beard and same thing on the beard i really just try to keep it as natural as possible bringing that guideline leading to my client's lip and i'll always brush through and go over it another time just to make sure i can get it as sharp as i possibly can and this is my nevin the barber turkish razor if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these also feel free to message me on instagram and I'll be sure to get you guys squared away. And you can see that I'm bringing that razor blade up against the grain of the hair. That way I can really get the sharpest cut possible rather than just going with the grain of the hair. This gives it a much more sharper look and it will make the haircut last longer. And here I came in with my Gamma Ergo Clippers. I do have these zero gapped as well. And I'm just refining my blend, really just trying to get it as blurry as I possibly can. It's all the details that really make your haircut pop out. So never be afraid to go back and really just double check your work and go over it one more time. Just ensuring you can give your client the cleanest haircut possible. And this will also increase your chances of retainment. So just be sure to put in all the detail work that you can and always make sure that you guys are not rushing your haircuts either. And for the final step, I'm going to go ahead and take my Gamma Saber trimmers just to take off the bulk. And I love these trimmers right here. These are my soft trimmers, so I usually use these for removing bulk. And one more time, just going over my client's lineup. It's always important that you guys brush the hair through and go over it one more time. That way after they shower and whatnot, and you know, style their hair, it'll still look the same way when you cut it. And just to finish off this blend, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Gamma Rebel Shaver. This double, sh this double foil shaver is a very powerful shaver as well. I would highly recommend this one. And for the price of it, it's very good too. You guys can save 25% off with my discount code NEVIN10 on the Gamma website. So feel free to check it out if you guys do need a new skin shaver. It is very powerful and very durable for, like I said, the price that it is. And one more time with my trimmers, just going up, attacking that guideline, ensuring that I blend the skin into the stubble. We're gonna repeat the same exact steps on the right side of my client's head. First, starting with my Gamma Saber trimmers to carbon that first initial bald line. And I like to turn the trimmers around and go with the grain of the hair just to really get a more defined foundation of where that guideline is. And we're gonna follow that guideline with no guard lever all the way open, going up about an inch you do want to give yourself enough space to blend out the guideline as well you don't want to make it too small 
same thing on the beard giving ourselves about an inch and you guys can see i blended it out right away just doing lever play now we're going to go up about another inch using our one and a half guard all the way closed and like i said i really like this fading process right here because it's very simplified i only use two guards and it really just creates a nice blurry effect like i said i've tried a lot of different fading techniques and this one just seems to work the best for me so if you guys haven't tried it out feel free to try it out and let me know how it works for you and if you have tried it out let me know in the comments how it works right here you guys can see i'm just blending the one and a half guard into the the crown area of my client ensuring that i'm rolling that comb off of the parietal ridge that way i don't dig in too deep and same thing on the beard now to blend out that middle guideline i'm going to use the half guard all the way open so this is cutting the hair down to a number one guard length and we're just going to gradually start closing that lever as needed just to flick out any dark areas that we see Like I said, this fading method is very simplified and straight to the point. I see a lot of barbers, you know, out there using techniques with a lot of different guards and so many steps and not saying that they don't work. There's a lot of effective methods out there. But like I said, this one just personally seems to work the best for me. And here I'm just doing some thinning shear over comb just to blend into the bulk. Like I said, if, if I do want to cut up further into the parietal ridge, I'll just do some thinning shear over a comb rather than using a bigger guard. And now to blend out our final guideline, we're gonna do no guard lever all the way closed. And when I'm removing this guideline, I'm really just using the corner of my blade. It's a lot easier to use the corner rather than the full blade because you can get a much more precise cut with each cutting stroke. And with this last step, I'm gradually opening the lever rather than closing it. That way we can cut a little bit more of a longer length with each time that we're tapping that guideline. And just be patient with it. Sometimes it might take a little longer than others. Like I said, based off of the density and texture of your client's hair. But the blend will come out smooth regardless as long as you guys are doing these steps correctly. Here, just applying my finishing spray to hold my client's hair in place before I edge it up and like I said personally I always like to start at the C cup just to create the foundation of the hairline you know like I said it it really puts things so now that I have my client C cups complete I'm gonna go ahead and tap the front of my client's hairline like i said keeping it as natural as i possibly can while still getting a nice crispy look i'm gonna go ahead and remove the bulk with the trimmers and right here is the gamma instinct trimmers i wanted to show you guys how powerful these were as well i would recommend all the clippers and trimmers from gamma but like i said these are their most recent drops and i can honestly say they're worth it and here just following it up with the Gamma Rebel Shaver, ensuring that I cut all that hair down to the skin. And it's important that you guys don't go too high when doing this, otherwise you can create a gash in your fade. So just be be careful whenever you guys are doing this and make sure to stay pretty low. And one more time, just taking my trimmers, flicking out any last stubble. And if you guys have learned anything in this tutorial so far, please be sure to hit that like button and drop a comment. I do appreciate your guys' feedback. And I do appreciate all my subscribers. So thank you for the ones who tune in and watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. 
And as always, if there's any haircut tutorials you guys want to see, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will get them out for you guys. And you guys can see as I'm cleaning up my client's beard, I just stretch the skin and I'm not going too deep. He didn't want to keep the beard line as natural and high as he could. And same thing on the edge up on the front. I simply just stretch the skin and I'm tapping that line we created with our trimmers. And to finalize the blend, I'm gonna go ahead and do some shear over comb with my Nevin the Barber shears. And I always like doing shear over comb on all of my haircuts, despite what haircut I'm doing, just cause it gives it a nice soft finish. It gives it a different type of finish on the hair rather than the clippers. You guys can see that the fade just looks a lot more blurry after I've done this step. But that is about it for today's barber tutorial. I hope you guys learned something in today's video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But again, I appreciate you guys for watching. It's been your boy Nevin the Barber, and I'm out.